Hello, welcome back to the Doing It Ace channel. Today, as promised, I'm going to do translation using the DB message source. So the first thing I did was I changed the configuration file to use the DB message source. So I changed this to DB message source and I comment out, commented out this. So that's the only thing that I did in the main.php file. Next, there are two thing, two tables that we want to create in our database. Those are source message and table called message. So it, is, it says here the source message table stores the message to be translated. And the message table stores the translated message. Yeah, and of course they say that the name of these two tables can be changed by setting the source message table and the message table. But I didn't do that. I just copied these two tables and I pasted in the SQL. That created two tables. One is source message and the other one is message. So I have the two tables now. And everything else is exactly the same. I have not changed anything. So, And what I did was now the problem was how to understand what to insert here and here okay let me explain that now the message table consists of this you have the language or oh, let me start with the source message source message uh, has three columns a category and a message so this is the message string that we use in our view file so tabby views site index okay so welcome string we have this string called welcome so that resembles this and the category app resembles in the configuration file we have this app so that resembles that uh, actually there was no documentation uh, to get this to understand so this so I needed to go into the database message source class and did a little bit of debugging first I echoed out the category to find out what the category means then I noticed that it echoed out app so that I thought okay it should be that app and the message uh, so did a little bit of uh, echoing out to see what's getting into these queries and here you see the query that will be that is run when searching for messages anyways to finish off uh, we have the category app and the message welcome so this is a string uh, let us have another string uh, so index.php I'm going to create I'm going to copy this paste and I'm going to say uh, again okay I'm going to say the name of my channel and that's it save that and refresh so it says doing this channel so right now it's in English I think I have changed the message associate to are you but I will change back to en 3n okay, refresh and we have the doing this channel uh, string so I'm going to add another category so I go wait first yes I insert and I say the category is app and the string here is this channel. I'm going to save that. Next is you need to add the translation. So I go to insert and this is the second one. This is the doing this channel. So the second one ID is two. Then the language that I want is in. Oh, let's say a Russian and I say my channel name in Russia. Russia, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to refresh and change to Russian and it says my name, my channel name in Russian. Okay, so that's about it. Um, you have the messages table and the message source message table I hope you understand so again to recap this is really simple 
the categories app because we used app here in our configuration file the next the string in the index.php or the view file which the string that you want translate to and the value of the translation is in the message table so we have a foreign key so when we go to insert we have a foreign key we have to select which one and in the language is ru or lk the what we have here and of course the translation string okay so the link is between this id here and the source id here okay so that covers this lesson uh, i hope you enjoyed this one it's pretty simple to do and i see you i see you everyone on the next lesson stay tuned for more and do subscribe take care